Good afternoon. This is Plain Jane in my own living room in rural Virginia, and I would like you to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff before I make you angry, especially this time. Now, I didn't actually run away or walk away from the Democratic Party. I slid away, you could say. In uh, 1976, I was in Colorado. I did something that was illegal at that time in Colorado, hopped on my 10 speed, went downtown to the poll to vote for Jimmy Carter. Of course I was voting for Jimmy Carter. My parents, my working class parents back in New Jersey were going to vote for him. Um, all the people I knew downtown were for Carter in that election. And I went to vote for him and come to think of it, I'm probably the only one in that whole crowd that actually voted. I bet I am. But they were for Carter anyway. I didn't know anybody who was not voting for Carter. It's what you call a bubble. I was in a bubble. And I went downtown and I voted for Carter. And then I voted on all this referenda that I had no, no familiarity with. I had no idea what these issues were about. But I voted on them anyway because they were on the ballot. And then I voted for all the judges to throw them out of office. No, 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 no. All of you judges go. Okay, done. Back on my 10 speed, back home. Now, not, by 1980, I was in Charlottesville, Virginia. Had been there for a couple of years. And none of my bohemian kind of Charlottesville friends were voting for Reagan. They might not have been voting either. I don't know. But as, and so I wasn't voting for Reagan. I didn't know anybody who was voting for him. My parents were not voting for him. I went downtown to eat a, eat a blueberry donut at uh, Spud Nuts on one end of the Belmont Bridge. And it was a kind of a more early morning hangout for construction crews. And I'm sat in there, sitting there chewing on my donut and I got a revelation. The construction workers who hung out there every morning and made that place feel like someone else's kitchen I had walked into, they were all voting for Reagan and they were excited about it. Very, very discrepant. It seemed like they would have been Democrats. They were blue collar workers. Why were they not Democrats? Still, I went and voted for Jimmy Carter that year too, 1980. My negatives on Reagan, a lot of them, had come from the people around me, but also from Eldridge Cleaver, who was the Minister of Information for the Black Panthers. And he, was, he also ran for president in 1968 on the Peace and Freedom Party ticket. And I guess they thought Black Panthers maybe lacked a little broad appeal. I don't know. Anyway, Cleaver speculated that if Ronald Reagan ever stepped up in front of a microphone without a script, all you would hear would be a series of oinks. I didn't really know that by 84, uh, Cleaver had switched to supporting Reagan. Anyway, in 1980, I voted for Carter. And he, no, I voted for, uh, no, I did vote for Carter in 1980. But uh, by 1984, uh, Reagan's opponent, Walter Mondale, had favored abortion rights. And I had realized about the seriousness of that issue. I perfectly understand why someone would want to go have an abortion or pay for someone else to have one. It seems like problem, solution. But it's a lot more serious than that. And I couldn't vote for anyone who supported abortion rights strongly. So I couldn't vote for Walter Mondale, and I couldn't vote for Mickey Mouse Reagan that year either. Okay, for when Reagan ran the first time and the second time, Democrats left their party in hordes to vote for Reagan. They, they were called Reagan Democrats because they were traditionally Democrats. I guess I was the Reagan Democrat who didn't vote for, for him. I sat that one out. 
When I began teaching in rural Virginia in 1987, I was still a Democrat, but the hold was broken. I remember thinking about the teachers that I was working with, a lot of whom I really liked, and thinking, you don't suppose they're eek, Republicans? You don't suppose, because I liked them, and I couldn't imagine why anybody decent would be a Republican. I voted for Papa Bush, a Republican, in 1988. Mike, uh, his opponent, Michael Dukakis, uh, again, supported abortion rights, and therefore I couldn't vote for him. It had become a pattern, a regular thing with the Democrats by then to abort, support abortion rights. When I face the Lord someday, I don't want to have to answer for that. Another thing, I began to suspect that the Democrats used race to divide us, to manipulate well-meaning white people who wanted to vote for the, want to be on the right side of history or whatever you want to call it, and also to scare out the black vote. People were still around in, 19, in the 1980s and even today who had lived through Jim Crow, who had lived through uh, all of the segregation and the threat of lynching and all manner of disrespect. They had lived through it. And it seemed like a really low down thing to use that, to manipulate them. To get out the vote, vote by making them fear Republicans. I've heard all kinds of stuff in a presidential appearance. Now, I wasn't the presidential candidate, but in a Democratic presidential appearance for uh, John Kerry. I think it was down south, maybe in Florida, I don't know. Uh, one of the speakers said that the, the Republicans would resegregate the lunch counters. Now, I don't know how many people listening to them believe that, but maybe somebody did. Otherwise, I don't think they would have said it. And then there was, they'd have you in chains. Well, we all know who said that, and that wasn't so long ago. Two friends of mine, lest anyone just believe that it's just my imagination running away with me. And lest you, lest you believe that, I had two friends who were uh, Democratic operatives, and they both admitted to it. But they defended it believing that the Democrats were the good guys and the Republicans were evil. They're still afraid to have us all get along. If working class people of all races saw how much they had in common politically, economically, the jig would be up. Remember Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, George Floyd and others that were killed by cops or by cop wannabes. Right away, the news would be nonstop, bam, 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 wall to wall, but incomplete. And they had to have known that it was incomplete. Protesters, both violent and mostly peaceful, hit the street. Uh, now, remember what your Facebook page looked like for days after one of those incidents. Then, research the entire story that led up to each one of those killings. And that doesn't leak out for weeks or even months. You have to be highly motivated to go even find out what really happened. And it comes out after everyone's already made up their minds, after they've already spoken their minds, They've already rioted and the shop windows downtown are already broken. And it comes out that if you know the whole story, you don't see it the same way. You might still see it. You probably are still going to see it as an awful killing that never should have happened. But you're not going to see it the same way after you know the entire story and what led up to it and all the context. And my conclusion is that we all are all being manipulated 
by uh, the news media that promotes the partial story and slowly leaks out the rest of the story and uh, Dem Democratic Party strategy because it favors them. And they promote racial division, pumped up emotion, and mostly peaceful violence. You come to your own conclusion. Sometimes I vote Democrat down ticket. I haven't voted for a uh, Democrat for president since 19, no, 1980. But I vote for a Democrat for, for Senate or Congress because of who the other candidate is. Uh, Tom Perriello a few years ago and Tim Kaine both got my vote that way. I would really like to see the Democrats support the value of all human life. You say you're for the little guy, why aren't you for the really little guy? And I would like them to cut it out with the race baiting. Our, our, our society can't take that. They can't take that division. We're too vulnerable in, in that area. And if they were to do that, they might get my vote and a bunch of other votes. In the meantime, what do you think? Should I hold my breath? 